So now we'll be looking at a very fun-filled topic, logarithms. It's a special way of writing numbers. And what exactly are logarithms? A logarithm is the power to which the base must be raised to produce another number. What exactly do we mean by this? So log with and just for just for convenience just for convenience we usually abbreviate log using just L O G. So for example log so the log of C sixteen base four. So how do we read this? Log 16 base 4. What is it? It is a power to which the base, in this case the base is 4. It is a power to which the 4 must be raised to get this 16 here. Alright? So log 16 base 4 will be equal to 2. And why is that? Because 4 to the power of 2 gives us 16. So a log is a power to which the base must be raised to produce under the number. So the log of 16 base 4 is a power to which you have to raise this base 4 in order to get 16. Let's do another practice here. Log just Twenty five base five. What is it? So you ask yourself this question What power do I need to raise the base here five in order to get twenty five? And that's two. So the log is the power to which the base here of five must be raised to get the twenty five here. Let's do a couple more just to get better understanding log 8 base 2 what is log 8 base 2 it's a power to which the base here of 2 must be raised for you to get the number here 8 and that power is 3 why and as you realize it's really the opposite of exponential but this is the answer because 2 to the power of 3 gives you 8. Here, this is our answer because 5 to the power of 2 gives you 25. And log 16 base 4 is equal to 2 because 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So what if I ask so for the value of log 64 base 4 you ask yourself what power do I need to raise this 4 this base of 4 here in order to get the value of 64 and the answer 4 to what power give you 64 answer is 3 so the log is a power to which the base must be raised. Let's get some more practice. So, uh, so what is log? One thousand base ten. And to get this answer, we ask ourselves, what power do I need to raise this base here of ten? In order to get 1000. In other words, 10 to which power give me 1000? The answer is 3. So the log of 1000 base 10 is 3. Let's do a couple more. Log 32 base 2. So we ask ourselves 2 to which power give us 32? 2 to which power give us 32? 2 to the power of 5 give us 32. So the answer here is 5. 
Good. What about log? Nine. Log, sorry. Log three. Base nine. Nine to which power? Give us this value here of three. Nine to the power of half. Give us three. Because nine to the power of half is the same thing as saying the square root of nine, right? So log three base nine is equal to half. One log. Let's say base two. So this is log sixteen, base two. In other words, how do we know the value here? We ask ourselves two to which power gives us sixteen, and yes, two to the power of four gives us sixteen. So this is true because 2 to the power of 4 gives us 16, right? Notice 9 to the power of half gives us 3. And this notation 9 to the power of half is equivalent to saying square root of 9, right? This means 2 to the power of 5 gives us 32. And this is means... 10 to the power of 3 give us 1000. So that's how we, 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 we work out log, especially we are writing numbers. So the number 3 can be written as log 1000 base 10. The number 5 can be written as log 32 base 2. The no half can be written as log 3 base 9. 4 can be written as log 16 base 2. Good. So just another way of writing numbers. So if I should ask you, let's squeeze in one more. If I should ask you, what's your value? of log 27 base 3. How do you answer that question? You ask yourself, 3 to which power give you 27? Or what power do I need to raise this 3 here in order to get 27? And yes, the answer here is 3. So log 27 base 3 is equal to 3 because 3 to the power of 3 gives you 27. So in the next video, introduction to logs, special way of writing numbers. So as a general rule, we can safely say that, let's put this down, that if we say, for example, log, I'm just getting a little bit abstract now. Let's say the base here is B. So log X, base B, let's say it's equal to the power here P. All right, to log means, this means that B to the power of P is equal to X. B to the power of P here is equal to X. All right, so for example, let me just put the actual example here. So, if log 25 base 5 is equal to what? You ask yourself, what power do I need to raise this 5 here to get 25? And you're correct, 5 squared gives us 25. So this means that, as using, that the base here, 5, to the power here of 2 is equal to 25. Alright, so that's the basic definition for log. Alright, so log, so this base here to this power gives you this value. So this value here, B, base to this power gives you X. In the next video, we'll be looking at some general rules, some basic rules that govern logarithms.